debunction junction, what's my function? Now, we do this every once in a while um, on the show when an outright lie or an incorrect perception is circulating in the news, uh, and we think we can clear it up by showing uh, that something that's being described as true is in fact false. Um, alternatively, sometimes someone tries to cast aspersions on a true fact, trying to undermine people's confidence in a true thing. In that case, sometimes we think we can clear it up by affirming the truth of that thing. Uh, we do the debunction junction segment here on this show for those reasons from time to time. The people at an organization called PolitiFact try to do that sort of thing every day. And they are shockingly, shockingly bad at it. I've lost my mind more than once recently about how bad PolitiFact is and how anybody who values the meaning of the word fact needs to stop citing them as an authority on the subject of facts. But PolitiFact has just um, done it up again. They are so bewilderingly bad that I, I just need to put them on the record here one more time. Here's the statement that they put to their patented PolitiFact truth meter test today. So the majority of Americans are conservatives. They believe in things like the Constitution. I know that's weird to some people. Florida Senator Marco Rubio, leading contender for the vice presidential nomination alongside Bob McDonnell. Marco Rubio fact-checked by PolitiFact on his claim that the majority of Americans are conservative. PolitiFact tests the truthfulness of that statement by consulting the Gallup poll, which they note has been regularly asking Americans about their political ideology since 1992. PolitiFact goes on to cite the most recent Gallup ideology poll results from last year, which show that 21% of Americans identify as liberal, 35% uh, identify as moderates, and 40% identify as conservatives. So Marco Rubio says a majority of Americans are conservative. PolitiFact looks into it and finds that actually only 40% uh, of Americans say they're conservative. And that obviously isn't a majority. So quoting PolitiFact, he said a majority of Americans are conservatives. In Gallup's poll, the number has never crossed the 50% threshold. Oh, but wait, there's more. PolitiFact goes on to point out that even if you split up the independent vote, people who say they are in the middle, even if you split them up into leans Republican or leans Democrat, still there's no majority for the more conservative of the two parties, uh, for the Republican Party. Quote, the independent split up so that the country is almost evenly divided. So to sum up, Marco Rubio says the majority of Americans are conservative. PolitiFact looks into that and finds that a majority of Americans do not identify as conservative. And even if you want to extrapolate to parties, even if you want to give Marco Rubio the benefit of the doubt and say Republican leaning instead of conservative, that still doesn't get you to a majority either. So according to PolitiFact, Marco Rubio's literal claim is false. Extrapolating generously from his literal claim, also false. Therefore, PolitiFact's rating of Marco Rubio's statement, mostly true. <laughs> Seriously. Claim A, false. Claim B, false. Overall PolitiFact rating, mostly true. PolitiFact, please leave the building. Do not bother turning off the lights when you leave. We will need them on to clean up the mess you have left behind you as you are leaving. PolitiFact, you are a disaster.